Hello, welcome to Race Tech TV. We're here at Formula Student UK at Silverstone this year, and I have with me here today Willem Toit. Uh, Willem, aerodynamicist, God almost, really. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, not anyway. at all, okay. <laughs> He's a very modest man, and uh, you must love it here. All of it's just a pool of activity and ingenuity and innovation. Now, Formula Student, I think, is one of the one of the great places to learn about engineering, let's say from a more practical perspective than yep. what you can learn in a conventional university. It's a really fantastic, yep. there's a really great atmosphere here, uh, well over a hundred teams with cars, yep. lots of different levels, lots of different types of cars, lots of fantastic ideas. This year I've seen, I haven't seen all the cars yet, I, I haven't had time because, well okay, you get collared, yep. that, that's normal, <laughs> but also there's just so much to see yeah. Yeah? and literally. the kids are so yeah. proud of what they've done which is also really great yeah. it's really we're the same like we're, i think we're three garages up at the moment because we want to look at every single car for me i'm just wondering actually from your point of view do you come here and do you learn maybe from some respects or look at some interesting ideas let's say i'd say with with the history i've had i'm not learning anything brand new but you do see new combinations of knowledge coming yeah. in and you see what i see is for example i see uh, manufacturing techniques done because the team have only had certain capabilities and they found new ways to make things because that's all they can do and that's really great that's really good yeah. to see but let's say from an aerodynamic perspective it's very different to formula one but it's not really new to someone like me. How can yeah. it be? You, know, you study yeah. it your whole life. Yeah, it's quite hard. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say for, for a Formula student team? I think a lot of people forget when we're here. Everybody here, because I've been part of one as well, is you're doing a degree at the same time. It's not that you're just developing a car for yeah. nine, ten months, sometimes two years. You know, you're doing a degree. Yeah. But apart from that, what do you think is the biggest challenge for a team, no matter size or budget? I think working together as a team, yeah. realising how difficult it is actually to get a car built and finished. Yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to do that. Yeah. And uh, you, you, the the, when the teams are first starting, they'll underestimate just how long it t takes for them to do their part, the design. Then they've got to go and get parts made. They'll use suppliers who are volunteers. Well, if you're doing a job as a volunteer, then someone comes with a paying job, the volunteer job drops to the bottom of the list. And, and unless you plan for that, unless you plan for those things that are going to go wrong, it's hard. Yeah. And I, I'd say that's one of the biggest challenges is, is allowing for how much goes wrong that's not in your control. Yeah. That was something that brings me on to yesterday. It really stood out for me, particularly was racing last weekend. A lot went wrong with us and also uh, Le Mans. If anything goes wrong, the last thing to do is point fingers. Absolutely. And I was just, I was, have you learned that from a particular moment in your career? Yes. Yeah. So, I, uh, so you, you learn anyway just from people's human reactions. When you are targeted, no matter who you are in yeah. a team, when you're targeted, let's say you've, you've honestly you've made a mistake. Yeah? And in life, we all make lots of mistakes. Yeah. So you've made a mistake. Then... On top of that, someone will point the finger and tell you you're an idiot because you've made a mistake. You already know you're an idiot because you've made a mistake, and the best people in the world do that. Yeah, so you know it's it's how you learn. So you're already down on yourself if the team comes down on you as well, especially if things get nasty. Yeah. And one of the things that reminded me about that was in 1984, working at Le Mans for a small team, uh, working as a mechanic because you go and do whatever you can, don't you? Yeah. I was working as a mechanic put a wheel on a car, the car had a massive accident, that wheel had come off the car. Now, you, you can imagine the reactions, people are, are you sure you put the wheel on properly? Well, yes, I'm confident, but in the end, the wheels come off the car, so you don't know why it's come off the car. By the time we realized that what had actually happened was the suspension had broken and the wheel with half the suspension had left the car, yep. by the time that had happened, a few of the boys were, let's say, not very friendly in their reactions yeah yeah and it doesn't help you to build a team no. if that happens and in the end for formula student you'll have lots of different attitudes lots of, lots of different abilities and every single person in the team will make a mistake yep. build a team don't destroy it by attacking people if they make a mistake they've already know they're already down on themselves because they've done something daft yeah? yep. and and that's why for example 
even in Formula One, you are regularly doing simple nut and bolt checks, yeah. simple things. Yeah? You have to do it even more in Formula Student. You don't, they don't often run for any length of time. If you want to finish the endurance event, you need to be going around checking. And if you notice that the bolt on the right-hand front suspension leg keeps coming undone, then maybe you want to make sure it's a bit more secure. Lock tight it or put lock wire on that one yeah. because in the endurance run, it's going to come loose again. Yeah. And if yeah. it goes... Yeah, and if it, it goes, that's it. No. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And uh, I hope you enjoy the weekend. Oh, I think I shall. you've got places to visit now. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.